Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampage, and welcome back to my Grimgore Ironhide campaign for Warhammer 3, where we we're going to continue left up from last time in Immortal Empires. Right now, the Chaos Stunties are coming at us hard and fast. Um, I've been trying to defend the best we can right now, while Grimgore is trying to finish off Satan. At the moment, we have Gorja Rock here. We're going to try and see if we can defend this. This one, if I remember correctly, has a better layout than the other cities that we've been defending. So I'm hopeful that we can do more damage here than we've been able to do at all of the other cities right now. Yeah, so like right over here, I do really like this spot possibly to try and defend. We're going to see what we can do. I still have my goblins over here, so I'm going to hopefully be able to start trying to counterattack and have them retake some stuff. But once uh, Grimgore is done with Satan, who he's just currently slowly but surely burning all of his shit, once he's dead over there, then we can come back over here with a fury to finish off Astrogoth. Reinforcements are coming on the western side there. Okay. I do hope that you guys will focus your attention on, let's see, because last time they kind of sent some guys over here and most of their forces were over here. That was with the uh, the Chaos Forces, though. Uh, if they do something similar, I think we can hold this, especially since we have a better garrison than we did last time, actually. So hopefully we can do this, because I need to stop preventing, I need to prevent them from taking just all my shit right now. They've been taking so much land over here and it's been a pain in the ass just because Grimgore is not around right now, and that's literally the only reason why. Yeah, because let's see. So, I... Uh, wait. Are they all just over here? Is there... It seems like their entire army's over here. Are they actually all going to attack from this angle? If they all attack from over here... That's not the worst. Okay, because then I'd have to just defend like this point and like this point. It looks like it. So, uh, we'll try and have my towers over here. So, like, have you guys right there uh, with that tower, this tower right here. We'll kind of split my forces up. Actually, I feel like maybe I should have... Yeah, some of my archers over here. Depends if they go this area or this area. Basically, what we'll do is let's try and have it so at least one of my gobos in front to have that anti-large. Also, I, I always keep forgetting that big ones have anti-large. So, I'll have you guys in front first. Then we'll have some of the orc boys around here as well. Kind of blob up these two points, and hopefully they're just going to focus around here. I'll probably have it so that just in case, I'll have some other guys try and uh, be spread out and uh, focusing on other areas. Just in case. So, like, you guys go right there. You have it so that you guys kind of group up here. That's one big group. That's one big group. And then we'll have it so the you three, you're in reserves just in case they try and flank other areas. So I'll kind of have you guys probably maybe like sit up here or something like that. And then my archers. I kind of like having, yeah, some of you over here. And then some of you guys. I, do, I don't know if you're going to have better angles here, but I could try and have you there. I don't think so. I think I should just put uh, goblins here. You guys uh, behind them. And then just have it so we can kind of move you guys a little bit to the side. That's all my archers. Cav, you guys just need to be in the back right now, and hopefully just utilize you as retaking if we're taking areas back. So we'll start the battle and see how this goes. So they are primarily only focusing this section, so that's actually pretty good for us. They are unloading with their archers here initially. I don't appreciate that. I'm upgrading the tower right now and bringing in reinforcements. Um, the guys that were kind of sitting back, they're going to be coming over here to try and help out. Because ideally, like if anything, I just want to focus on. We're probably going to lose still. But I want to make sure that we're going to... Oh, they're already routing. God damn it, my gobos are shit. Um, but what I'm trying to say is I'm hoping that we'll be able to be able to at least eliminate and kill off full individual units. If we can at least do that, that would be great. Oh, you're actually going to my archers. Okay, you guys run away there. You guys try and get to the, the Bale Taurus there. Yeah, you guys just try and back off. Try and back off there if you can get away. Let the biggins try and deal with the Bale Taurus. We might be able to properly fully kill it. Um, and ideally, once you guys are done over here, um, I'm actually going to adjust these guys. The, you, I don't need all of you over here. Uh, I can take some of you guys back, send you over to help out on this flank. Okay, we've been able to finally separate... Oh, that hurts. Uh, the uh, Bale Taurus alone. So, we should be able to kill it, I think. They are starting to break through here. Try and send uh, the reinforcements here to try and hold this spot a little bit longer. They're blobbed the hell up. If I had a caster in here, this would be great right now. Because trying to have it so that all my men focus their attention on this little blob. Because they're not focusing on any other section. So if we can just get all their attention right here. Oh, they did destroy my tower. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'm not surprised, though. Let's have you guys try and upgrade this one, though. Because we can try and rebuild this one in a second after you guys have been able to get rid of the... Oh, it's, it's breaking. Yeah, it's breaking. Yeah, you guys just need to get over here. 
try and get on in there and keep holding them at bay. Uh, Bale Taurus is almost dead. I'm trying to like, actually kill it, please. I need to like properly finish it off. If it dies, that's even better. So you guys just keep trying to chase it, and then we just need to keep blobbing up this spot. And if enough towers are upgraded, we can do a lot of damage. Okay, we got my wall. I have at least been able to almost take out one of their heroes. The Great Taurus is going to be able to get away. I'm not able to unload onto it. But uh, this guy is running. Don't let him get away. Do not let him get away. Kill him. There was another one that was also pretty low, too. Because they're just trying to maximize damage right now. And if I can actually kill any units off, that'd be perfect. Yeah, he's a little bit better of an angle now, so try and hit him. Cab, you're trying to hit the back line now. So try and hit these units that are back here. Do what you can. Um, got, let's see, I can get another tower upgraded right now. Let's get you upgraded. That's probably a pretty good angle right here. Infantry is slowly dying, though, so I'm a little concerned there. But come on, at least if I can take out a couple key individual units, I'll be pretty happy. We got the bravest boys here right now. You guys are holding really well. Like, the longer you guys let me just keep unloading into this spot, the better. Because I've now got two towers that have the uh, good, nice uh, explosive damage. Uh, that we can now just keep lobbing into this section here. Doing a lot of damage right there. Archers are also just getting to freely unload into you guys. Also, other orcs just kind of form up and just hold. That's all we need to do. We just need to hold this one spot. If we can do this... I believe in you. Believe in the war. Believe in Grimgore's war. Come on. I actually really want to win this fight. If we can win that, I'll be so happy. Oh, there's a chain route. Oh, yeah. There's a fucking chain route of the century right there. Beautiful. Okay, we are down to just the heroes and one archer. So if I can do enough damage, they are going to start taking points. That kind of sucks, but I think we're okay with that. Just uh, try and keep unloading into them as best as you can. We have it so other towers are active. Like, these ones are still upgraded fully. I'm not trying to just run back to other locations. Um, I actually should upgrade. Uh, basically, I'm going to try and run them through areas where I don't expect them to actually kind of follow. Oh, did they stop capturing it? Oh, they did. They did stop capturing it. Oh, thank you. I really feel like I need to have some, like, Benny Hill theme music going on here or something. Because it, we're just being sneaky gits. Running around continuously, slowly but surely capturing points. A little concerned right here is this could technically make me lose it. But, oh, I got this one back just in time. Where I've been slowly but surely taking points back every time I'm able to. I build up towers. They do a little bit of damage. Not enough to, like, fully kill these guys. Because I can only keep spamming the really weak ones. And I'm not going to risk trying to go into melee with you guys. If I do, you're going to slaughter me. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. We're the sneakiest gets that have lived. We were able to win that just fucking barely. Those three heroes alone did so much damage. And they were the only ones left alive at the end. And now I was able to survive. Good on you, Grim Goes On Boys. I love that this settlement, this one in particular has won multiple sieges so far. I love that. Absolutely love that. So now, everything should be dead besides those three heroes. So my goblin armies, my goblin army, should be able to make their way up here, kind of finish off whatever's left of them, and then start reclaiming the lands I lost. Because I did a lot of damage there. As long as everything died and it's just the three heroes that survived. So some other units did survive. Yeah, yeah, because that, that great Taurus did get to survive. Yeah, grab the experience. I want to just keep giving more experience to these guys. But beautiful that you guys were able to hold that. That's perfect. Yeah, because now we can try and have it so that uh, Black Fang, since those armies went north instead of defending Black Fang, I can take that back pretty easily. I think you guys should be okay around Gorger Rock. Actually, I can probably just grab a tiny little army around Gorger Rock um, and have that. Oh, they're still sieging us. Actually, that changes things. So it doesn't kick them back. It just prevents the siege from winning this turn. Okay. Oh. They pushed off. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm recruiting a lord here. Um. Let's see. We've got a random... Uh, let's see. So right now, this is just a night goblin. No, this, no, this is a shaman. This is a shaman. Um, I would say let's get a night goblin. Let's get a night goblin war boss then. Um, serial dancer pet frenzy. Sure, Grebits. Let's grab you. 
We're losing money either way right now, but sure, let's just grab that, and then I'm gonna give you, um, let's just grab, ooh. Ooh! I didn't realize I have a feral wyvern for me completing my wah. That's, ooh, I like that. Um, I think this army, though, let's just grab, uh, these, yeah, those five night goblins. That alone right there might be enough to just push them back. We just need time. Let's repair all this stuff. And then you guys are going to start slowly recovering the garrison here. Um, but Gree bits alone, like just this right here, I think will be enough to prevent you guys from to be able to take that stuff. You can then start trying to reclaim my lands. So you can push out in here, take this back. Occupy, get Black Fang back under my control. Of course you guys had to destroy fucking everything. That's great. It's exactly what I wanted. It's hoping you guys would actually have more money from that. But, okay, so you... I, we're in a far better position now here. Far better position now. Um, so you're doing that. Grimgore over here. So yeah, this guy, you're going to be just build a recruiting for us. Grimgore is going on a warpath. Trying to finish off the rest of his land. So I see three pieces over here. And then Zatan has this settlement. And then these two are the settlements. So as long as he doesn't take anything else... I'll be able to very easily just, hey, burn this, burn this, burn this, keep making my way back. And then he has nowhere left to escape, and I'll be able to just push him push into his lands. I did get some rank ups also. Let's see. So this is on the hero. I'm going to give you... Uh, there's not many good spells right now for this. I'll have you just get yeah, the, the glare. Get the glare, I'd say. Shit, they got an army chasing me. <laughs> Doesn't matter for Grimgore. Like, this army here... Yeah, no, Grimgore can fuck you up. It's you. I want you to survive for another two turns and get me those troops. Because right now, Grimgore, you're pushing on in here. Let's see, I will definitely have enough movement to sack and occupy this area. Because I want to get the most money out of this to sustain me. So yeah, sack this area. And then we're going to occupy it and then abandon it so that we get out of here next turn. So occupy it. Then have you stand out of the region go into uh, encampment stats, and then abandon the settlement, and then we'll keep making our way over. So it'll take us two more turns to get over to the Red Fortress, and then I'll be able to have it so there's only two more settlement, one more settlement after that. Uh, you guys now, okay, so what we want to do here is, they're fucking running, yes, that's what I want to see. So I'll have you make your way up here. Also, I did uh, decide to give, to grab some of the names that were suggested uh, from my uh, giant list on my Discord. So we got the, the Gobbles of the Night. I want, it's supposed to be the Great Gobbles, but it's too long. And then also I got the Kappas. We got those guys too. I'm probably going to have it so I might just take like some of the units in here and just replace them with these Regiments of Renown. I'm not opposed to that idea. Because like I can give up uh, two of you guys for the Night Goblins. I can give up another one of the Archers. Um, and then it wouldn't it be bad to have some cav. I have a lot of archers right now, so I'd probably give up, like, three of the archers there, so we only have five of you guys. Um, yeah, I think that would work. I, I'm gonna have you sit as you are for right now and wait. I actually could just bring you with, though, too. Kind of tempted to do that. <sighs> I'm sorry, man, you're probably dead. I'm gonna try and see if they'll let him run. This is going to cancel his recruitment, though, which is kind of the problem, because the whole point of him sitting there and recruiting is that he would be able to get me, uh, my, uh, black orcs for Grimgore. Uh, that's kind of a shame. I might have to just wait on until I can get back to Karak Vrag to get my black orcs. I don't want to. I want them so badly, especially since I have a lot of name suggestions that I want to use specifically with black orcs. Because I just want Grimgore to have... I actually, now that I have those Pharaoh uh, Wyverns, I want to put those in his army. God, I, I don't know what I'm going to have his final army be. Got our imminent rebellion. That's not surprising, given the fact that there's a bunch of chaos rebellion over here. Uh, chaos corruption, I mean. So, let's do this. So, I can have you, for right now, try and make your way up there. You can try and get up here. It's going to rebel either way. So, all of you go there. This army, keep making your way back over to Black Eerie. For right now, the Black uh, uh, Eagle Eerie, sorry. Uh, you make your way over there, reclaim that. And then Grimgore now. Uh, yeah, that did stop your recruitment. Let's see, Zatan is here! hey -oh. Yeah, you can try and fucking stop me. You're not going to, man. So... Keep making your way over here, Grimgore. Zatan is trying to get up to me. Like, honestly, if he goes, like, right here next turn, I'm just gonna murder him. I will slaughter these armies. Uh, you, stay here and keep recruiting. <laughs> just keep trying to get those Black Orcs. Because why the hell not? Damn it, they didn't let him get away with this time, so this guy's dead. You did good. You did good, Grom Buttocks. 
tried to have it so that you could do something around here to recruit, but no, nope, that's not going to happen. So that means at least one army is nowhere near us right now. So, Zatan, are you still chasing me? I'm hoping he is. If he did, I'm going to slaughter him next turn and keep doing exactly what I'm doing against his lands. Because absolutely just burning everything down to the ground. The fact that the AI is so gung-ho on chasing you specifically on where your land is makes it kind of very abusable to just burn things down and like kind of push them in a way I want them to go. I, I usually, I like just expanding as much as I possibly can, but not like with this. That works out really well. Okay, so these are some ogres only here. Looks like there's noblars. Let's see. Eh, it's kind of balanced. This army alone might be able to defeat them. Yeah, pure victory. Yeah, that's fine. They're just noblars. They're just all noblars, so yeah, slaughter them. I'll have you grab um, the money since we need more cash. And then I'll have you just kind of watch over uh, Blizzard Peak for right now. I should actually go back to Ice Skewer. Uh, spewer and uh, actually colonize that again. I'll definitely try and do that at some point. Um, bomb to seduction. You were killed. Yep. I'm just gonna have to wait. Uh, more income for buildings. That's good because I definitely need more cash. Yeah. The bosses are not happy. <laughs> Got a rebellion right there. I love that we have to have a unique thing for that. Um, that's just an agent right there. Okay, but let's take back Eerie. Um, oh, is there a rebellion here too? What? Oh, no. There's two rebellions. Um. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. I didn't realize there was another rebellion. Okay, let's take this back. This area we want to then occupy. This one, yeah, they still damaged it. That's not what I wanted exactly. But at least they're right next to the area that has the garrison, so you should be okay. So just get all the buildings back up around here. I've got the money to kind of upgrade you guys again. Uh, yeah, we're still okay. We're still fine. We've got a nice surplus. And then I'll have it so that once you guys can do next turn is you'll move out of here. Uh, you'll go back up and deal with that other rebellion. Let's get you the replenishment stuff. And then that's all you have for you. Uh, this guy get more defenses. And then the other shaman, I'll have you... Actually, I already have you with some casting. So, Oh, no, you don't have any casting. Never mind. Yeah, you're the one with casting right now. So let's have you upgrade the Vindictive uh, Glare since it's the only damaging spell we've got right now. So grab that. You guys are good there. Research-wise now. Okay, so at this point in time right now... Reduce construction costs would not be bad. We have a lot of scrap, so I think we might get the scrap upgrades right now. Yeah, there's quite a few scrap upgrades I think I'm going to want to try and grab right now. Boar riding. More armor for you guys would not be bad. Um, more melee attack speed and charge bonus for goblin units would not be bad. This also works well too. This one costs money, so I'm going to hold off on that one. Let's just focus on the ones that specifically... Um, ooh, income from raiding though. That would be nice. We have to hold off and gain those. I need to get more things that give me just our focus on... Oh, actually. No, get this. Reduced upkeep for goblin units by 50%, 20%, and then more ammunition for doom divers. Oh, yeah, that'll be really nice. Also gives more replenishment and physical resistance for goblins and leaderships, yeah. So let's focus on that research. And then uh, this is the Greebits guy, so you're just going to keep sitting about around here. I don't know. I'm not going to keep this army for very long, I don't think. Uh, you guys need to then do a commandment again. Finally, I can get my commandment for growth control and reduce the corruption. So you guys can do that. And then I need to go back over here. So Zatan, I don't know where the hell he is. He's not around here right now. So let's see, do I have enough movement for this? I do not have enough movement to sack and occupy, sadly. So we just kind of have to occupy this area. Because I can, I can loot and occupy. It doesn't give me as much money. But I can at least do that. Abandon this region, and then get out of there. Keep raiding. Grimgore now. Let's see, you're level 25. Let's see. Yeah, we're just going to keep focusing on your personal line. Let's definitely get you more... Uh, I want to get you more damage first. We'll get these two to get him into this first layer. Um, is there anything else I want to get right now? I'm definitely going to need that missile resistance at some point. But yeah, you get the weapon strength for right now. My hero... Let's have you get some more health as well, I would say... Oh my god, is Archeon, Ar do you really want to fight me? Yes, you do. Fuck you. Why do you want to fight me? Why? Oh, you've got land right there. Troops right there. Okay, that kind of explains it a little bit more as to why you'd want to fight me right now. Uh, oh, you also took the challenge stone. That's why. Can we win this? Garrison is fully stocked up. These are primarily just a bunch of marauders. I do have some additional troops. It's not as much since they did take damage. Oh! Uh, 
God, why do I have to fight Chaos, too? I don't want to fight Chaos. Set up here is not bad. I think we can maybe do this. This is Valiant Defeat. The towers do a lot more to the Marauder units. Like, you guys are... It's really easy to do a lot to you with that. And I do have a Lord and some additional troops. At least I have, like, a full Night Goblin Archer here. That's not bad. Like, I... Let's try this. Let's try... Let's see what we can do. Okay, we're gonna primarily try and focus our attention right here. As, for the most part, they have some guys over here. I should be able to defeat pretty easily. And, uh, have it so then we can try and focus my attention more onto the other sections as they bring their men over. Because, for the most part... All these guys, they'll rush on here, take this point. Probably try and go over back here, but I've got these guys to try and sneak around and like, take points back. And if I can at least hold this section, I can then kind of spread out a little bit over here and uh, capture more towers, or build up more towers. Let's do this. Let's see if we can hold. Here they come. So they're only focusing on this one side specifically. So what I'm actually going to do is like, yeah, let you guys run on in here. And then I've got my forces on this side. Then I'm actually going to try and let flank a little bit. So, like, you guys are going to try and run over here. Surround these guys and hopefully slaughter them. All my archers, besides, like, one of you, are able to shoot them. So, let's just get you guys to get a little bit closer. This section's getting slaughtered. Uh, they did kind of run on in a little bit more than I'd like. You guys, at least, can try and deal with the Marauder Horsemen here. Although, actually, I need to make sure uh, it's this one. You need to not be in there, actually. You, yeah, get on in there and help out. But uh, you actually have the uh, the loons, the eight peaks thing that I want to make sure I can utilize and throw on into melee because that'd be great. Uh, I can have my hero probably at least turn back around here and help out against the warhounds. They're being shot at right now though, so my archers, yeah, you guys can keep doing that as this section's already doing pretty nicely. Let's get you guys to flank them right there. Archers are doing some good amount of damage. At least these guys don't have a lot of armor. Okay, so one section did really well. Others are breaking now. So you guys have now shattered this section. I seem to get you guys over here to try and help prevent them from making their way through here. Because, like, the towers, they are unloading. Uh, Goblin trying to distract them a bit. You guys over here, I'm going to have you keep trying to focus on slot. Actually, I get back around to points to see if we can try and have you guys recapture this spot. Um, I kind of want you guys to go around that way. Marauders, Marauders, Marauders. Yeah, now you guys should be able to yeah, kind of run over this way. Basically, you guys are going to try and run over here, try and recapture this point, trying to get all of my infantry now back over here. So I need all of you guys to get back into melee here. We need to try and see if we can prevent them from taking this point. Kind of keep holding. Archers, yeah, you're trying to get set up around here to unload into this section. You guys are already turning around and unloading. You need to do the same now to help out. Hopefully, my Night Goblin War Boss, please hold. Please hold. We'll start the wall up in here right now. So you guys, yeah, you're rushing on in there. Good chunk of you. Oh, some of them are coming from the backside now, too. That's not what I want. Okay. So then they'll be waiting on you guys, really, to try and get back in here. Capture these points, then maybe be able to flank, too. They are slaughtering my infantry. Holy shit. Like, seriously, my infantry is not doing that well against you guys. Archer is doing a lot of damage, but infantry is absolutely kicking my ass. You guys at least have been able to reclaim this point. I appreciate that. If we can just keep distracting them with the cab, that'd be perfect. I don't like how you guys are still shooting me, because I need to get these guys over here to, like, throw stuff on into melee with you. Because this might just be up to my archers and my cab on how we do well, uh, how well we do here. Okay, things are doing pretty well. For the most part, their lord is almost dead. He's really close. Um, most of their forces are actually taking quite a bit of damage. So with me being able to run on in here, I'm trying to see if I can take out... Don't want to fight you guys too much. But I was going to try and see if we can maybe break you guys. I just need to keep my cab alive. Keep you guys alive. Keep towers active. And we can win this. Like, they are not that uh, doing that well. Like, you guys right here. Yeah, focus on the cast warriors. Focus on the marauders. Hopefully I can kind of get my men to come back here. And we can kind of regroup. Okay, they only have a couple units left now at this point. I am now just focusing on trying to reclaim my points. I've been able to regroup with all my men. I uh, have it so that my cab, you're trying your best to get back over here to recapture the one that gives us more leadership. And the, uh, the Night Gobos, the regiment's renowned, uh, you guys are trying your best to just delay over here. The Lord is dead now. So at this point in time, there's just some Marauder Hunters, Marauders in general. Like, this is not bad. We can do this. Gotta love it. Just like last time we fought Chaos, it's the Chaos Warriors that are the biggest issue. So right now, I've got my archers trying to surround them. Infantry just all died. Not surprised by that. Trying to just surround you guys the best I can to be able to try and take advantage 
of the fact that you guys, if I can shoot you in the back, you will take a little bit more damage. So keep trying to do that. We need to primarily still just keep trying to run away from the enemy army and let my towers try and do the, the most damage they can. Oh boy, we were able to hit army losses before they did. Oh boy, that was close. Theoric victory, but we won it nonetheless. And now I get to go have it, so I go we get to kick... I'm not going to go kick RK on the balls. <laughs> just like lo in actual lore. God damn it. I want to go fight other people, but I guess I have to go for it. I fight RK. I'm like, fuck, fuck it, I guess. Because now uh, he's been able to take the challenge stone. So we are going to be making my way back over this way slowly but surely with Grimgor anyways to be able to deal with Zatan. Uh, hopefully. Now that I've been able to push back the forces of Astrogoth quite a bit, now we can have it so that my goblin army can maybe have it so they start helping try and get rid of uh, Zatan first. Zatan has to die. That's top priority. Zatan dying first is our ter first priority right now. After that is going to be Astrogoth primarily. I would say after that. You barely survived. <laughs> barely. I... I want to get the experience. Well, it's only going to affect a couple of these guys. I'm gonna, or let's grab the... Yeah, grab the replenishment. This Blizzard Peak is at least holding there. Um, I can now have it so that, first and foremost, you guys need to turn back around Man, and deal you. with uh, this Giblet. You need to deal with Giblet. Uh, you guys need to slowly but surely try and build stuff back up. <sighs> it's Arcan himself right here. No, that's a different dude. Different dude there right now at the moment. I still know where the hell Zatan is. Where are you at, man? Ah, oh, there he is. Do you want to fight me? Do you want to fight Zatan? I can actually call a wall right now, actually. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where do I want to call a wall? I could just call a wall on this area again. Strength rank 8. Chaos Warriors. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's just do that on, on you. Um, I've got a lot of more infantry, so we're going to go with Gork. Dedicate to Gork again. Hi. <laughs> so now, at least, uh, you're going to have a very tiny wall. You're going to have a far bigger wall now that you're a full-stack army. And then also, uh, Grimgore himself is now starting to build up a wall. So we'll be able to use this wall. Why are you... Wait. Why are you guys taking attrition? There we go. Okay, yeah. Like what I was saying, my, my wall army should not be taking attrition. But there we go. So we'll now have it. So we'll keep making my way over here. Hopefully I can fight you this turn or next turn or something like that. I want to just deal with uh, Zatan right here. And then I'll have it so, like, you guys are just focusing on defense. I could probably have you finish this off. Yeah, you have a, ti a very tiny wall. Very tiny wall. Oh, you get the replenishment. Um, I probably will have you... Let's see. I should probably go colonize Grebits. I can just have you sit here, though, I think. Level ups, at least. Um, we want the one from raiding and didn't get the experience. So, grab that. You're just a tiny defensive wall. And then everybody else, yeah, I can definitely have you now, especially try and make your way down here after this army. Take this land, and then Zatan should not be uh, around for much longer. I don't know how Zatan thinks this is a Pyrrhic victory. The one unit he has that's a problem is you. I have a far better infantry army than him. He does have casters. The thing is, I'll be having uh, Grimgore go try and fuck up anybody around there. I like It'll have me lose literally everybody, but one archer, my black orcs, and one of my orc boys. No, no. I, I think we can win far more than just that. So I'll have it. So we're going to fight this ourselves, because I will be able to now get rid of Zatan here. He w did bring in his other army, um, which, where are they coming in from? If his reinforcements are right next to me, I'm going to go camp them. Let's see. So his reinforcements are behind him. So I'm not going to be able to try and camp them. Um, for the most part, though, my army's pretty damn good around here. Grimgore gives uh, flaming attacks all my units. I need to focus down... Okay, out of all the units they have in here, um, the Death Shrieker has to die, and also the um, Casters have to die. Those are the biggest things. I don't have a Caster in this army, which does make it so that any big blobs will be a problem. Strip you guys up, you guys up, you guys up, and then... So, for right now, you're going to get set up here, because I want to make sure you have a good angle on hitting pretty much everything immediately. Guard mode on off of all of you guys. Uh, Grimgore and everybody else kind of spread out a bit more, since I know he's going to be trying to hit me with artillery pieces. 
Don't know how much damage it's gonna do, but I'll try and have you focus down the artillery piece initially, and then I can have my boar boys, uh, the edge mashers, also try and make their way over to try and hit them. Because ideally, as long as we kill that thing fast enough, they don't have enough damage potential, really. Oh, you... Yeah, you actually do have to get a little bit closer. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Uh, there it is. Death Streaker right there. So you try and unload on that. Cav, you're gonna try and run over to the side here. And I have you try and be able to get over there and hit that. Hopefully you can. Because I just need to make sure that I can prevent this thing from doing damage. It's not as effective as uh, the, um, the mortar. Oh, he's focusing on Grimgore right now. Yeah, try and hit Grimgore with that. That's fine. Grimgore is okay. And I do have a way to heal Grimgore at least, which I really appreciate. Both of you guys have a heal. Your heroes are flying. That's something I don't appreciate, though. Okay, so my men are getting in melee now. Uh, I've got the uh, Black Orcs going up against the Chaos Dwarf Warriors. You'll be good there. Archers, you guys need to focus down the Lord and the heroes. Grimgore, come on, Zatan, fight me. I'm gonna have my hero. You go after the Shrieker. Have my cab kind of come over around back this way, too. Grim oh, he's actually gonna fight me. Okay, let's fight him together. Fight him together. You're next, Zatan. Let's get him, at let's get him man. Infantry is taking quite a bit of damage. You guys are taking way more damage than I'd like over there. Yeah, Cav, you need to go get the Death Shrieker. Zatan should get fucked up pretty nicely here. Yeah, focus on him. Get to Wall going. We do have the better Wall, too. Uh, archers, just start setting up. And now that they're down on the ground, we can focus them down nicely. Let's use that heal immediately. Yeah, so focus on him. Some of my infantry is taking a lot of damage. You guys are doing really well over here. See, you guys are just taking a really long time to get over here. I'm gonna have you go to the right side, left side. Left side can use some more support. Doom Diver, now at this point, focus on the blobs. Focus on the blobs. Zatan, let's see, I'm gonna give you your heal now, Grimgore. You're kind of doing good damage to both of them, but focus on Zatan first. Focus on him. The right side's breaking. Go for the goblins. Shrieker's dead. Actually, I want you to, well, actually, no, you, you can fight the Great Taurus. You guys have bonus versus large. You should actually win pretty nicely against that. I'll just have to run as soon as I see too many men around over here. But I think I can actually... Yeah, you guys are doing some good damage there. Uh, yeah, Grimgore, keep fighting here. Let's see, I only have another 38 seconds until your next gets back. Let's see, you guys are together should be able to very easily beat them. Let's see. Yeah, the, he the caster's almost dead. So Tan, I'm gonna go after you next once your hero's out of the way. Archers are doing some good damage. Uh, you and Black Orcs, you need to get on into melee here. You're some of my heaviest hitters. There we go, Zatan is finally down. So now what we need to do is have it so... Um, I'm going to try and take out the other hero with my elites and with Grimgore. Archers, you guys now need to start just kind of trying to skirmish. Do what damage you guys can. And then uh, Black Orcs, just keep kicking ass. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm bringing over Grimgore right now to try and help you guys out because we need to take out that lord. As long as we can take him out, uh, like, hey, Doom Divers, uh, hello. Got a big old blob of fighting over here. Try and get you guys, if you can, uh, do focus over onto the... That's a ton of laborers, oh my god. Yeah, focus over there on the laborers. Grimgore and everybody, I yeah, get over here. Uh, if I have any other archers that are in range, should I have you guys try and also help out against that hero? Because once he's dead, then they won't have any casting available. And they just hit fucking army losses. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you guys thought I was going to lose way more of my infantry. A lot of you guys did take some good damage, uh, but not enough that, uh, that you guys thought I was going to take. Try and see if you can just run more guys down. Also, do guarantee this guy dies. We can at least, I know, guarantee a kill that this hero is going to die. So let's make sure we hit him. Kill him off if I can before he gets off the map, please. Ah, oh, he's going to run off. Damn it. That's fine. Um, hopefully I kept everybody alive. I think we did. Did a lot of damage with the Doom Divers. Doom Divers did an amazing amount of damage. Still Pyrrhic Victory. But far better than they were thinking. I think I lost one Orc unit. I think that's it. I literally think I just lost you. I think everybody else is maybe alive. Doom Diver did 25,000 damage. You didn't do... You did a decent amount of damage. Skirmishers did a good amount. You got, Yeah, the Black Orcs did some good damage there. And now I'm going to have Zatan's thing here, too. 
Not bad, not bad. That could have been a lot worse. We were able to at least focus down the heroes pretty quickly, so that's not going to be all that bad. <sighs> but now, um, I should get replenishment. I do think one of my orcs is dead. I think I think that's kind of expected that this guy at least right here is dead. You might also be dead. I think everybody else is okay. I lost two. Yeah, I did lose two. Uh, oh no, the boys of Love Ridge. The boys of Love Ridge we lost. That's it. Everybody else is still fine. This army is still doing okay, but I can finish them off. Uh, definitely grab the replenishment. Definitely grab the replenishment. Okay, so now I at least made sure to write down that those guys were, uh, they were eliminated. I'll have to make sure I get you guys another unit at some point. But yeah, grab the replenishment there. And then, where did their armies go? Because I want to finish those off. I don't want those to just be still alive. I want to actually focus them down. I am going to, I'm going to leave that one slot open that I lost. Just because I want to make sure, that I still want my Black Orcs. So I'm going to leave that alone for right now. Because with me defeating uh, Zatan right here... Oh, actually, no. I should worry because of Archeon. I still have to fight him. Uh, yeah. Well, now that I've been able to defeat their armies, I can try and have somebody... I can try and have a guy again recruit more Black Orcs. Because... Where'd their armies go? I kind of hope the coat pushed back this way, where I'm going, anyways. Because, let's see... Uh, no. They've been split. One of you is up here. I just... The main thing is I just don't... Oh, actually, I can put that in the army. Um, oh, and I got the Crimson Killers. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna merge together. I just wanna make sure you don't know if you guys have names. So I'll merge these two together. And then I'll make you the, uh, the new, uh, Boys of Love Ridge. And then, um... Ah, oh, I can't get my regiments for now. No, I'm out here. I forgot about that. I have to technically control a city, so make my way over here, keep replenishing, and uh, we'll be able to push on into you guys, take this out. This army... I just don't want you to colonize an area. That's the thing I'm concerned about, is you trying to colonize stuff over there. Um, right now, I can very easily have you hit this army, kill them off, and then uh, get some replenishment there, and then now at this point, this area is safe again. Let's now have it so you guys keep making your way over to Titan's Notch. We need to reclaim that now. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to be holding this area, Grebits. Might have you grab some more random goblins, possibly. But I think you might... I, I don't have it. I don't have that any income at all. So we'll hold off for right now. So you guys stay there. Rank ups then. Um, I need to get... Uh, there's not much I want, actually. And much success chance. Yeah, we're just going to grab Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike and then out Cleverin. Grimgore here. You need to get some more weapon damage. All of you guys grab more defenses. You grab more of the Vindictive Glare, I would say right now. I don't want to fight you, Mao Ying. Can we not? You know what? I will actually give you this fucking gift because I don't want to war with you. I don't want to border you at all. So you know what? I will give you the gift. Just fuck off. If you ask for another one, like, after I burned everything down, then I'm going to come and just burn your shit. I don't want Grimgore over here, though. I want Grimgore to, like, actually be more to the west. I want him to be dealing with the other, uh, goblin, uh, no, yeah, the other orcs and, like, unifying them and confederating them. But no, I gotta fight fucking Archaon and Zatan and all the, possibly the forces of Cathay. I don't want to be in Cathay. Cathay's boring for an orc. Now, let's see. So do I have... Oh, I don't have enough movement for that, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Take my way up. Slowly keep pushing forward. And I'll be pushing into you guys. You don't have a good force here. I will be able to push into you next turn. This other army. Come on, come to me. I don't want you to recolonize stuff. Just don't recolonize. That's all I'm wanting. Uh, uh, Scarfag, I want you to keep making your way over here. Keep bringing your... You'll be two turns until you can get the Titan's Notch. And then, let's see. At least you guys haven't been moving right now. So that's good. So you can just stay around here. Building-wise, I do need to get my economy back up. But first, keep focusing on getting the defenses built up around here first. Still, funnily enough, I still find it interesting just how much the ogres actually kind of like me. <laughs> like, all the ogres down here don't fucking hate me. And you know what? I don't have a real reason to fight you guys right now. Um, I am now able to barely get over into your land. Yep, just barely. Start raiding that. Give us a little bit more money. We're now not losing all that much, at least. The Grimgar is now able to very easily hit... Like, you guys don't have a lot here. They're actually running for me. Yeah, I'm, I want to just fight this myself. I just don't want my um, wall army to take any damage at all. Do you have any defenses? Because my wall... I don't need my wall army at all here. I just want to make sure they don't take any damage. Yeah, let's fight this quickly. 
because this is going to be a slaughter here. We'll take this area, sack, occupy it, and then that will allow me to have enough space that I'll be able to then get um, my units that are regiments of renown. So we can grab a... Um, I'm definitely going to make sure I want to put the Immortals banner onto the regiments of renown one as opposed to the best boys. Um, then we can get that other cab unit because I at least want two cab units. I do want a wyvern. I could, ooh, I could put the wyvern near too. Oh, I do kind of want that. I feel like I might get rid of one archer in this army. I don't think I need six. I think I have five archers might be enough for this army too. Yeah, because let's have it so that immediately you guys just start rushing on in here. Archers get a little bit closer and then start trying to break down towers. Grimgore, I'll have you guys just kind of go off to the side. And Cav, you're just going to be running around trying to capture points ideally. Um, Doom Divers, you focus on the like, skirmishers. So like the Hobgoblins for sure. Chaos Warrior, okay, Chaos Dwarf Warriors will be another unit I'm definitely going to want to focus on for sure. So you guys get on there. Archers are almost in range. You guys just destroy a tower, because why not? Just minimize the damage we take from it. I do just love the imagery of Grimgore and his boy here, because I renamed this one to Sour Frame, if I remember correctly, are just fighting against all of you guys back to back. You got each other's backs. You're bros. Absolute bro best of bros here. I love it. So yeah, you guys are doing well over here, pushing on into this section. I'll give you guys your heal before the battle's over. Uh, we've been able to take this point. You guys, let's see, so I actually don't even see all that many units left. Uh, cause like you're fighting the, oh, you're actually losing to these skirmishers over there. Yeah, let's have you get out of there. You can get out of there, I'll have just my infantry, you need to now make your way up to other points. And my archers, I'll probably have you guys make your way over here to now actually help out Grimcore. Okay, there we go. So they've now given up there. Been able to easily push on in, into this city. Didn't even, yeah, did, did not need my Wa army at all. Grimgore and my hero actually did most of the damage. A good amount of damage on you as well. Oh, there we go. Now we've been able to minimize our casualties here. Now we can have it so that we'll take this force. Um, I will occupy, a sack and occupy the region. Then we will abandon it next turn after I've been able to get some regiments of renown. Um, I should have two salts, if I remember correctly, so we can get the cab unit and the crimson killers as well. Definitely going to give the uh, banner of the immortals to those specifically, because I think it just work out much better. Because if I remember correctly, the, they are stronger than the base unit, even if you consider the rank 7 upgrade that they can get, um, where they will just have by, by far better stats and do way better. So let's occupy this area. So yeah, sack it, get a decent amount of cash, and then occupy the region. Oh, we have actually three slots. Oh yeah, I merged two guys together, that's why. So yeah, occupy that region right there, and then we'll have it so that we're going to... Ooh, Armor of Destiny. So you've already got an Armor of Destiny on yourself, but this guy could actually use that instead. So let's give you that Armor of Destiny. So you can have that. Um, I don't have a Talisman on you still. I just don't have any Talismans. Or I don't have any good ones. Dragon Helm, can we get something there? No, Armor Fortune. Can I maybe get... No, that's an arcane device. No, that's not what I need. Okay. Well, let's just get you... Uh, I would say more Wound Maker. Grimgore here needs more health. And then I would say for right now... I think I'm just going to grab like a Wyvern. You and you. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. Yeah, no, let's go with that. Also, need to upgrade you guys again. I'll give you the Immortals Armor. The the cause fear effect and increased leadership is really nice. I'll definitely switch this over onto you guys. I think that'll be a far better use uh, than this. Yeah, these guys have... You guys actually have higher leadership. I think it's just because of the bonuses you get from the Immortals thing. Because it gives armor, defense, leadership... Yeah, that would actually kind of contribute to all of that. Their stats are, like... Honestly, I think I might actually keep you with that. No, I think I'm going to have you keep that. I'll have you keep that. Wait, no. Let's get you guys out of here. Put you guys into raiding stance. And then have it so we abandon this region. And then hopefully... I know they've got one other army around here. Please try and come back over this way. Because I know next turn I'll be able to start taking back this land over here. And I should kill you soon. And then my the rest of my wall will be going over here to finally get rid of you guys now. Because I'm probably going to have to push on up. I don't know if I'm going to fully kill off uh, Archeon. Kind of hope that we don't have to. I'm hoping that maybe if I just push the Challenge Stone again. I want his defeat trait at least. I do. He has a good defeat trait. I do want that. You guys here. Defenses. And then I'm going to have you get me get this. Upgrade that. 
And then you're all... I just need to get you to rank 5, and then I can get rid of all the buildings and give me growth around this area. Okay, so if anybody get the uh, research finished up here, nice. I'd love to see that. Now, back over here. I should be able to very easily take Titan's Notch with you guys. So you can walk on in here, take this region, just occupy it, because this was our region before. Uh, and then I will upgrade it. We still got enough money. Um, definitely get the idol here, and then the defensive structure for sure. So grab that. Grimgore now. Okay, so that army of theirs is running back towards their land. Good. That's what I want to see. Because now, Grimgore, you're going to make your way over to the Fortress of Eyes. You'll be, uh, because they decided to colonize this area. You'll be burning that down. Um, next turn, I should have enough range. Almost have enough range to get over there and take that. Almost. Um, let's have you upgrade. Yeah, get the lightning strike upgrade there. And then you get evasion. Yeah, because I just want to double check what it was again for Archeon. Physical resistance, melee attack, and then spell resistance. All things that will actually be pretty nice to put onto Grimgore. Um, so let's see. So you guys right now... That army is so crap. Um, keep making our way up. And I should be able to... I wonder if you guys are going to want to try to Hopefully you don't. But I'll be able to hit you guys next turn. I'm still losing money. I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, let's see. You guys don't have enough... I hate that you don't have enough movement to hit the city. Yeah, you don't. So just keep raiding it at least. Gives us a little bit more money. And then, um, so back over here, you're good. I don't want to do anything with you. It's just getting Grimgore back now. Okay, so now, Grimgore. Let's see. So I don't know where those armies of theirs went. Again, I'm hoping they don't try and uh, see if they can do anything around here. Uh, you guys just occupy it again, because we want to have it so that we're going to just abandon this region. Grimgore, keep moving. Going to raiding stance. Don't know where their armies went. I'll be burning this area down initially, and I'll come back for the Volori uh, later, once I know for sure Granite Spikes is secure. So Grimgore, keep making your way over there. I can now hit and take Yata Peak. So we can reclaim this now. This will be ours again, just occupy it. And then this area, build up again. I hate how much money I'm losing. Like, I, once this research finishes, like, this entire army is going to be having a drastic d reduction in its upkeep. So that should be really nice. Let's get your hero killing blow. Now we can finally get some good AoE spells. So that's the, the Curse of the Bad Moon. Yeah, that's the Vortex. We can at least have some AoE damage now properly with you. God damn it. This is a far better army than last time. Fuck. I'm just going to let you guys take this one. I don't think I could hold that. That's a far better army than he's been using in the past. Not what I want, but we are just about to finish off Zatan. Hey, Zatan, speak the double. He's over there. So he's over in the east right now. I'm going for his last settlement right now. He should... Oh, please, just don't don't stay back here and just uh, colonize that area. I need to have you follow me and go for your piece of land. Because I know once I take the final city there... Ah, oh, shit. There's a lot of Chaos Warriors here. You guys held well last time when it was just a bunch of Marauders. I don't... I'm gonna let you take it. I just want to get Grimgore back over here. That army may have been able to win that. But I don't know. There's so many Chaos Warriors there. So I'm gonna say no. We're just gonna have it so we're gonna just keep focusing on Grimgore right now. Which... Why... Oh, there we go. Okay, it just was close. So yeah, there we go. So now we can have it so, at this point in time, keep making my way forward. We're now almost here. This is just an army of crap, so the Volary will be able to take back pretty easily. You guys will be then destroyed. This army now, I need to start trying to send you back over here. I'm going to try and see if I can get you back to Gorgerock. Like, Blizzard Peak, that's okay if we lose that. Uh, Gorgerock, though, no. So we are going to try and bring you over this way. You've got your Wah army. We still have 13 turns of that. So you with your Wah army should be able to hopefully defeat that army of Zatans. Not Zatans, I'm sorry, um, Astrogoth. So Zatan is following me at the moment. Perfect. Uh, Grimgore here, I should be able to hit the Volary. So let's have you take this. This should be pretty easy. Is there actually walls here? There, there shouldn't be, technically. It says there's actual walls. Number of breaches five. There's technically walls. Weird. Okay, I'm just gonna let you take the auto resolve here. Uh, that's far more damage than I should have taken, honestly. Okay, occupy this area. Then we're gonna want to have it so again. For now, we're going to just abandon it. Because I want to make sure that Zatan keeps following me. And he doesn't try and capture that city and have another settlement. 
Because two turns, I can get to his last settlement, then kill him off. You need to keep making your way over here. I don't know where Astrogoth went. He's not near Black Fang, at least right now. Rank ups, uh, Grimgore, let's get you some more health. And then your boss, let's have you get Woundmaker right there. Oh, I see one of Zatan's armies. Okay, so I'm actually have to turn you back around. At least Astrogoth is not attacking me right now. And that did make a huge difference. I save 500 gold per turn right now because of what I've got over here. So let's get you back over here. Because you're right next to me. You're not going to be able to stop me, though. Zatan is still following me. Okay, so one more turn. And then I'll be able to finally now hit you. I'm making a little bit of money now, at least because of the rating. Um, what do we want to get right now? It's like reduce construction costs. I have a lot of scrap right now because I haven't been utilizing my upgrades just at the moment. So I'm going to say, yeah, let's get the upgrades here so we can actually now get the stuff for Nasty Skulkers for their upgrades. I still want to get this at some point, but we'll hold off on that for right now. Yeah, let's just kind of do this, 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 and then we can do this one. Or Boar Ride and uh, then the Abuse them later, I would say. How do I lose a unit in this underway interception? How? No. Like, these armies are crap. Absolute crap. I'm, I'm fighting this myself because I don't want to lose one of my random, my, one of my nasty skulkers for no reason. Literally, I should not lose them. So let's fight this quickly enough because they're mainly, primarily just orc laborers and goblin laborers. And I've got a decent amount of archers. Nasty skulkers can do decent, they're, like they're good heavy hitters. They don't last very long in fights, but I think that's okay. I do have to make sure that we're going to have my, um, Probably my hero, the the big boss, and the trolls. You need to try and focus on the heroes and focus them down. As long as we can get the heroes down, and uh, the, the Taurus is going to be a bit of an issue. This army is slaughtered, absolutely. Because they're not even considering my Wa army, who is technically attached here. Um, so we have to you guys group up. I can have also all of you guys group up too, which is nice. So I can have all of you guys like, hi! I can just be right here. I can actually almost start immediately unloading on you guys. The goblins up here. You guys can't. You have to come on in later. Same with you. So just start deployment, start the battle. You guys make your way forward. All of you guys just get a little bit closer. And then I can just start unloading into this entire army. The goblins will try, but I'll block out the sky. <laughs> Literally, as you guys just keep slaughtering them. Uh, let's see, Sna a nasty skulkers. Let's see, get you guys. You can actually hold off probably for a little bit right now. And have both of you guys keep just trying to throw the vindictive glare at the uh, lord there. Just keep trying to see if you can hit him. Yeah, focus him down. Because once you guys are close enough that you feel like I'm actually threatened, I'll throw my nasty skulkers into melee. But for right now, just all of my archers just focus on you guys and get a good amount of damage. Okay, they were able to get this guy over here. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get you into melee with my... Well, first, actually, yeah, do the... Reduce his speed. Run away. Run away, my nasty skulkas. And also my archers, too. You're supposed to be running. So that way I can try and get my uh, trolls and everybody over here. I'm just going to go back here. Lord is still doing okay. Uh, they do have some Chaos Dwarf Warriors. You guys should probably start skirmishing there. Probably have you guys maybe help out around... If I get you over here, I can do the Helm of Discord on you guys. Heroes. Yeah, you guys try and take him out. You do have a healing potion, so utilize that. Definitely try and help us out around here, too. There. I do have a Vortex spell, which, uh, they're not blobbed up all that much right now, so I'll have you guys just keep doing this uh, Vindictive Glare into the Lord. Focus on that. You guys are breaking. Yeah, you guys start turning around and trying to unload on this guy. Do try and back off if you can, though. No. There we go. Yeah, no, no, you guys are not going to kill one of my nasty skulkers. Two of my units took a little bit of damage, but that's not that bad, honestly. For this entire army, uh, you guys will now be defeated here. The next turn, I take their final settlement. They'll start taking attrition until they do something about that. Hopefully, we're able to have it so they don't colonize an area. If they do, I'll have it so Grimgore can go over there and fuck them up. Because Zatan, I want you dead. Once Zatan is dead, that'll make things a lot easier for us. I do hate, though, I'm still losing money. If It's only with the rating that I'm making cash right now. So I've, I've been able to, like, defeat an enemy, yes. But I haven't really gained a lot of land for this right now, which is kind of irritating. But hey, at least soon, um, I'm going to have to push back Archeon, so kind of same deal. I can hopefully have this army push on into Astrogoth, possibly. Because you guys are starting to get some nice upgrades here. I'll have you get the... I think we're okay. We don't need to grab the punch. Grab the money. I need more cash. 
Yeah, because let's, let's do this. So Zatan, I'm going to deal with you first. So Grimgore, he shouldn't be able to run because he's in, amb uh, in Force March Dance. Absolutely slaughter this army. It's completely worthless. It's not a good force. So you can kill him. Let's have you grab the replenishment. And then turn back around. I'll now have enough movement to take the last city here. And then you already defeated him last time. Pump wagons there. Oh my god, so much stuff. So much stuff. Yeah. Hate right. granite spikes. This area. Well, how am I? Is my wall's taking a little bit of damage? <gasps> Talisman of preservation. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah, occupy. The oh, I should have sacked it. That's fine. Hey, it's more important to make sure we kill them. No, this area I actually want to keep, though. This is an area we actually want to keep, so build this up here. Get the defenses. A Grimgore. Yeah, we want to put on the Talisman of Preservation onto you. Because then you're just going to be even tougher. Yeah, even tougher now. So we got a way, he's got a way to heal. Honestly, besides like his uh, quest armor, this is like perfect right now. Um, you need to get me some more wound. Um, let's have you get more. Yes, that. Tiny strike. You can get some more health. You upgrade the bad moon, I would say. And then, now at this point in time. So, he now, yep, yeah, no, they're just destroyed. War host of Zar is now dead. Perfect. So now what I can do is I'm going to send you... Oh, also, we now have upgrades here. What can we get? So we can get Perfect Vigor or Bonus versus Infantry. I would personally say Bonus versus Infantry. So we can get that. So let's have you upgrade you with Jagged Weapons. I definitely need to start making you make your way over to Black Fang right now. Uh, that's a small enough army. Gorge of Rock should be safe. Grimgore's making his way over now, research-wise... Let's see. So let's now get the the spider worships one. Then go boom, boom, boom. Grab all those. Uh, boar fighting. Oh, actually, that would be nice too. That gives more stuff, more speed for boar boar units. Ooh, I do want to grab that. I really do want to grab that. I do think we should probably be done for today. I've now been able to have it so that we have defeated Zatan finally. He's dead. Hopefully, we're not gonna have to worry about you guys at all. I don't want to fight Cathay. I need to now take the challenge stone. Um, I'm in a far better position, I would say, at this point in time, now that Zatan is dead. With us, our wall going on here, I'll be able to very easily take the Challenger Stone. We'll probably focus on that with Grimgore right now. Then have it so we need to now focus... Basically, push back uh, Arcanus a little bit. Focus on Zatan. Oh, it's Zatan, sorry. Astrogoth. Focus on Astrogoth. Then, after Astrogoth is dead, or at least push back and weakened... Um, I can then start having it so we can push properly fully into Archeon. Or, if Grimgore can, I can just have Grimgore just focus on you. That's my hope. But, I will be done for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign, any other thoughts happen in general. This is Rampan, and I'll see you guys next time. ...is dead, or at least pushed back and weakened. Um, I can then start having it so we can push properly.